Hey, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor. And one of the things I get asked about often, probably because I talk about it so much, is why I love setting quarterly goals. So here's the deal. It's September when we're taping this, we're publishing this video, we're thinking about end of 2021. Deep breath. Yeah, that's right. So that means pretty soon you are going to see a video popping up about goals for the next year. But for now, we're going to focus on the last quarter and why it's important to be so intentional about where you are and where you want to finish. So quarterly goals are not just this place of hustle harder. This is about evaluating. It's about taking a look at what is working, what is not working, what has shifted in your life and in your business with your clients or the environment in general that you need to address. Quarterly goals are very tangible. These are one to three things you're focusing on very intentionally and very focused. You are going to make a plan to think about where it is you want to finish and what you want to feel like, what do you want your life to look like, your business to look like, and what one to three things can you do to achieve that result. So a goal is part of your vision statement. It's derived from your vision statement. Then your one to three steps are your tactical moves to get to that point. Now you need to track this. Are you taking these steps weekly or daily or multiple times a day? Let me give you an example. What if you are noticing that one of the things you're challenged with is time management? If that is one of the challenges that you're facing, you want to imagine what it would feel like at the end of the quarter for you to be a better time manager. That means you might need to take a look at your calendar. You might need to take a look at where your time is spent and how you might want to be able to adjust it. If you spend your time doing things that are not going to get you any closer to your desired outcome, you may want to evaluate leaving those things behind. Again, don't think of everything you need to change. Choose one to three things that you can do better. This isn't just about professional things. This can also be a personal goal, a personal focus. Are you struggling with anxiety? Do you need to look at how you can perhaps take measurable incremental steps to abate some of those feelings and some of those anxious thoughts? Might you need to eat differently, work out, take a walk, meditate? These are measurable and very specific things that you can do. I find it incredibly empowering for every single person to know that they can take charge of where they're at in their lives and what measurable steps they can take to move forward into a direction that is more empowering and more aligned with who they are. If you and I cannot be our most authentic selves, we are going to miss out on living and being the people personally and professionally that we want to be. Quarterly goal setting is your opportunity to take charge of where you are and where you want to be. And in order for you to get there, it is a personal and professional inventory of what is working and what is not working. Being really honest and sincere, being really kind and really focused and choosing one to three small things that you can track daily or weekly with intention and humility and accountability to get you closer to where you want to be. So if you want to chat about your quarterly goals and how you can create better quarterly goals for yourself to finish 2021 equipped and empowered and better than when you started, I would love to chat with you.